Hi, this is Mike Elkins. I'm the Parks and Rec Superintendent for the City of Green, and we've got Central Park construction going on behind me. It's April 14th. We've got great weather today, great weather for the next week, so a lot of progress will be made here at Central Park. So why don't you stick around for just a few minutes? We'll walk through the park and give you a tour. Well, this is the main entrance to the new community hall here at Central Park. The community hall is going to seat around uh, 120, 150 people, um, up to 180, depending on the kind of configuration within the hall itself. So let's take a look inside. So this is the, uh, the primary function space of the community hall, seats up to about 150 people, as we just had mentioned. A lot of natural light will flow into this room, a lot of glass within the community hall. As the camera pans around, the two air open areas leading out to the patio, those will be sliding glass doors, and out to the patio overlooking uh, a pond, which is currently being uh, dredged within uh, the next week or so. And an overlook there as well to the north to the central administration building. So we envision a number of events here, types of events, might include wedding receptions, anniversary parties, uh, community gatherings, things along that line. There is a catering kitchen within the community hall, very similar to the John Torrock Community and Senior Center, a little bit larger, and uh, there's also restrooms here within the building as well. So we'll take a look at those areas here in our next stop. So these are the back doors to the community hall leading out to the south side of Central Park, leading out to the amphitheater and the splash pad area. So we've got a ramp that leads down here off the back side of the community hall down to um, the patio for the community hall as well as the amphitheater itself. So there's a lot of construction going on right now. We've got great weather. Uh, the masons are up in the amphitheater right now. They're continuing with the block work. And uh, we're really excited about the amphitheater. It's going to bring a lot of new events to the city of Green, to the center of Green. Um, anything between you know dr outdoor drama performances, high school, middle school performances, um, summer concert series, special events within the city of Green. So we're really excited about this amphitheater in Central Park. So why don't we take another look at the Central Park amphitheater from behind the seating? Well, this is the stage of the amphitheater. A lot of work going on behind me and all around me. The amphitheater seating seats about 500 people on these concrete seats. Really, the only thing you have to do, one, get here early to get a really good seat here on the concrete structures. Bring your blanket, and uh, if you happen to get here late, I'll get out of this fellow's way who's getting ready to cut some wood here. Uh, if you get here late, bring your lawn chair, bring your blanket. There's plenty of lawn space here at the amphitheater uh, to take in a concert or a show. So the Parks and Rec Department, the City of Green will be uh, issuing schedule events. So pay attention to the website www.cityofgreen.org and keep an eye on our Facebook page for the events scheduled for the amphitheater right here at Central Park. It's, a, it's going to be a wonderful structure. It looks great already. Also, one more item. To my left, uh, to your right, the open area will actually be a screen as we will look to bring back movies in the park. Movies in the park were very popular uh, within the park system in the early 2000s, and this is a great venue to bring back that family-oriented activity, movies in the park. Well, at this point, we're going to move from the amphitheater over to the splash pad, so follow me over. Welcome to the most anticipated uh, amenity of Central Park, and this is the Splash Pad. Splash Pad is designed for three primary age groups, up to around the ages of 12, uh, maybe up to 14 years of age. Uh, three specific areas. The play equipment is designed specifically for interaction with the water and with other children and also parents. The structure that you see in the background, we call it 
the support building for the splash bed, but reality, it is the, the restroom facilities, concession stands, a maintenance building. It also houses the pumps for the splash pad itself. Um, there are three restrooms, uh, men's, women's, and there is a, uh, a family changing room as well. So we're really excited about this new amenity within our park system, the splash pad. Folks, when the splash pad opens, it will be the hours of operation will be 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week, all weather permitting. So feel free to bring the family out to Central Park and enjoy the splash pad. Tell you what, let's take a look at the South Pond in the South parking lot off of Steese Road. Follow me. Now we're standing at what is the dry playground of Central Park, which is another amazing amenity. This is an outstanding dry playground. So if the splash pad happens to be a little bit too busy and the kids are looking to dry off a little bit, bring them over to the, the dry playground. It's only feet away from the splash pad, three separate areas for three separate age groups. And there's an outstanding rock climbing wall that will be installed um, near the support building for the splash pad near the concession stand and kids love to climb and it's going to be an outstanding uh, rock climbing wall for the kids and just a great place to hang out and play and, and have fun and make make friends and develop friendships. Another cool feature of Central Park, there's a lot of water in this park. So as we take a look at the pond behind me, this is what we call the South Pond. There's also the North Pond. The North Pond is over by the Central Administration Building and we have a middle pond that as we mentioned a few minutes ago inside the community hall that we will be dredging here shortly. Um, water just adds another piece of, of value to the park. Water is just, it's a calming, it's, it's soothing, and uh, we're really excited to have three bodies of water here at Central Park. Also wanna make note that um, the primary parking areas for Central Park, if you're gonna come to the park and visit the splash pad, you wanna park in the parking lot off of Steese Road as we take a look over there um, you can see the contractors doing some work, uh, landscaping work. So this is off of Steese Road, and if you're looking to visit the park primarily, this is where you want to enter. There are other parking areas at the Central Administration Building, as well as uh, the stadium parking lot behind Green Intermediate School. So for special events, if you're looking to, to come to Central Park for special events, those would be your three primary parking areas off of Steese Road, the Central Administration Building, and of course the stadium parking lot behind Green Intermediate School. Well, this is the playground and the South Pond. Chuck, let's walk back north and take a look at that farmer's market trellis area. That's another exciting part of Central Park. Follow me. Well, here we are back at the splash pad area. However, what we're looking at behind me is some uh, excavation of what will be the uh, community lawn area. So this is more of an open play area. It'll be a highly maintained grass area of Central Park. You wanna come out, just bring a blanket, have lunch with a loved one, have lunch with your family, maybe bring a Frisbee or two and toss the Frisbee around with the kids. So right now what the workers are doing is just getting this to grade and getting it prepared so that we can get some seed and straw down. So this is another exciting area of Central Park. And at this point, what we want to do is walk a little bit closer to the trellis area, talk about the farmer's market trellis area, its use in ice rink. Yes, in April we said in ice rink. And uh, follow me, we'll talk more about it. Thanks. Well, this is the farmer's market trellis area. Green has had a farmer's market for a number of years and uh, the farmer's market permanent home will be right here at Central Park in this wonderful looking trellis area. We're really excited about this beautiful feature to Central Park. So that's the trellis area. And to my right, uh, what you see, we just talked about it. We're excavating and bringing things to grade for the open play area, the open lawn area. Also, I wanna make mention at the bottom of the stairs is what we call the rotunda. And the rotunda is nothing more, nothing less than a, a circular patio. It's also gonna be the location 
of an ice skating rink here for the residents of Green during those cold winter months of December, January, February, and maybe even into March. We certainly hope the weather warms up in the month of March, but ice skating will be coming to Central Park next winter. Chuck and I are gonna take a walk to the east side of the park in just a few minutes, and we're gonna take another vantage look of Central Park and talk about the trail system. So join me over at the east side of the park as we take a view from Town Park Boulevard. Well, we are now on the east side of Central Park. This is the view that you would get coming from Town Park Boulevard. And we got a great view of the community hall behind us, a great view of the amphitheater behind us as well. One more great feature of Central Park is the trail system. Nearly one mile of trails throughout Central Park. So if you're, you're a walker, you're a jogger, you're a runner, you really wanna you know, visit Central Park and take advantage of one, the great trail system that's here, but secondly, just all of the great views. Every single turn, within Central Park gives you a different look and a different feel and a different view. And it's just, it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's a park that we don't have in the system. And we're really excited um, to have Central Park here now as part of Green Park system. And uh, OHM, our advisors, OHM advisors out of Columbus designed this park and we've got some great people working on it. And uh, the great project team in the city of Green with myself, Paul Oberdorfer, Paul Pickett, Welty, um, is our construction manager and of course this project isn't even possible without the support of Green City Council and of course the administration. So a couple of other items here as we wrap up with Central Park. July 9th is the date in which we've uh, scheduled the grand opening of this wonderful facility. The splash pad will be open. Uh, we're looking to have events at the amphitheater as well. So mark your calendars for July 9th of 2016 as a grand opening for Central Park and keep your eye on the website cityofgreen.org and the city's Facebook page as well. If you're not a fan of the page, go out there, like the City of Green Facebook page. You'll get all of the updates in terms of what's going on in Green Parks and Recreation. Hey, thanks so much for joining me on this tour of Central Park. We'll hope to see you here on July 9th and many times after. Thanks so much. Have a great day.